Welcome to Generational Changes, um, your boy Lutik. Uh, and today I'm not flying solo. Um, I'm with uh, Oratilio Matlapeng, he goes by the name of Zil. So Zil, welcome to Generational Changes, my man. Hey, what's good, man? What's good? Thank you for having me. Uh, it's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope stuff. That's dope stuff. I must say that I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we can finally get to do this. Um, I know we tried this a couple of times two weeks ago and it didn't work out. Uh, but praise God yeah. that we're here now, man. Yeah, no, most definitely, man. Um, yeah, I had to uh, make a plan. I had to make a plan. <laughs> no, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, man, we, we, we hope that the music will get to pay off. Um, and so that you can just press the button and things happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it was definitely, man. Uh, hopefully things work out, Jewish. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's dope, man. So, yeah, man. So, um, COVID-19, brother, man, um, how are you keeping during these uh, crazy times in our world? Yeah, man, it's crazy, hey? Um, so, I'm keeping safe. I want to safe. Um, hmm. Uh, I won't lie, like I don't travel around a lot. I just, um, I think I see my girlfriend like once a week. That's good. Uh, but mostly I'm at the house. Um, and then I don't go to work because we're working from home. Um, mm -hmm. I was I was actually with Tepo uh, when he got sick. And then uh, he tested positive. And then I also tested positive uh, the same week as well. So oh. Oh, the next week. So, um, But like... I was asymptomatic, so I just mm. stayed in the house and I got cleared by the doctor after after 15 days. I got cleared okay. by the doctor, so he checked me. So I was negative again. So uh, he was much more sick, though, so it was a bit crazy, uh, mm. you know. So, yeah, so crazy, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crazy that's times. hectic, bro. That's hectic. Because obviously, I mean, you, you would have seen that I was chatting to him um, about his situation, but I didn't know that you were also going through the same, man. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to see that I've, you, have, you have recovered, man. Yeah, I mean, I picked him up uh, when he was sick. So he couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. Sure. Um, he, he was very, he couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm -hmm. so he was, so I was, so when I picked him up, he was struggling to even walk to the car, you know, sure. so, and then he got in the car and then, um, uh, yeah, it was scary, crazy. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm driving him to the hospital and I'm like, I hope this is not COVID. Yeah, when and then uh, he yeah. get into the hospital, he can't even write. So I'm writing, I'm writing, yeah. you know, the the casualty forms for him, mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. then uh, he's sure. pushing him on a on a wheelchair, mm -hmm. and then uh, we get there, and then uh, he's uh, um, he's admitted, and then two days later, three days later, he sends me a message saying, "Hey, I got pneumonia, but they I tested positive for COVID, so mm -hmm. just check as well." So I went to go check. And then uh, once I checked, uh, it was positive, but like I had no symptoms. So sure. I don't think I didn't have any symptoms. I think I had symptoms when I was with Terpo. So when oh, I took him okay. to the hospital, he, he's reacted. And then mine were like subsiding down, you know, so because mm -hmm. I could feel I had a bit of a cough. Nah, nah, not really a cough, but like my throat was a bit weird, uh, nose as well. But um, at the end, uh, when I took, when Terpo was, when Terpo tested positive, Mm -hmm. And when I tested positive, like I, I wasn't sick at all. So even now, it's been 14 days, it's been 21 days now. So I'm still clear. So just keeping safe, man, taking immunizers and all that. <laughs> sure. No, man, praise God. It's good to see you, uh, you know, back, back on your feet. And, and I'm glad that it wasn't, it wasn't anything serious. Um, yeah, man, this thing is getting real, man. I mean, right now, it's, it's no longer something that we speak about from a distance, you know, it's, it's people yeah. around us. Um, and uh, yeah, we just got to continue fighting the good fight and, and observing all the social uh, distancing protocols. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's, man. There's not, not that we can do for now, just uh, sure. increase, increase our prayer time, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and love people, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, 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 that's dope, man. That's dope. Um, and yeah, man, you, you, you got a new album coming up. Um, you put up some stuff on social media. Uh, so the album cover and the, the track list, uh, and it, it looks fire. Um, so yeah, t tell us about the album, man. Uh, I think it's titled, These Things Happen. Yeah, man. So the album's titled, uh, These Things Happen. Uh, it took me like probably like five years finishing this album, bro. Like, mm. um... Like the songs that I had before are, are not the same songs. 
Um, like, I don't know how many times I changed. I probably have like in total, like maybe 18, 20 tracks, but I cut it down to 10 mm -hmm. um, because of it's the person who wrote those songs is not me now, you know? So, so oh. it's like, hey, I've changed a bit. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, you want to try to be relevant. You still want to be a good rapper. Just, just by being, I still want to be a good rapper, but like mm -hmm. at the same time, you still want to be, um, you know, deliver the, uh, the message of hope. You know, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, so it took me like five years, finances, issues, you know, changing jobs, um, and uh, just, uh, it was tough, but just having, having like a strenuous sure. period, you know, getting, being consistent, recording, mm -hmm. and then not going to studio for like six or seven months, and then mm -hmm. going back to studio, but I won't lie, I think, I'm glad I took that time. Uh, to work on some music because uh, some of these moments or some of the stuff I talk about are, are things that have happened when I was not happy or when things did not work out and I and that's where like the music comes out you know so mm -hmm. uh, so even with the producers as well the stuff the beats that they used to send me it's like they they knew what I was going through it's like it's as if I'm not saying they did but it's like uh, whenever they send me music I was like okay you're cool yeah. here's the idea wrote it mm -hmm. and it was done and then after writing it uh, it sits for like six months because sure. I can't afford studio time. And then eventually when, when I can't afford studio time, I go record, record, record. Mm -hmm. After recording, it's done for like another six months. It's just sitting in studio, you know. So, uh, but when I came back to Joburg uh, last year, one of the most biggest things was to finish the album. So I came sure. back to Joburg. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have, didn't have a job. So I stayed at home for like six months. Mm -hmm. And then eventually when I got the job, I was like, okay, cool. Uh, one of the things I want to do this year is to release the album. And uh, yeah, man, I'm done. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, gonna getting released uh, in August. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to do a bit of a video. We'll see if that where that works out. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, man, I'm done, bro. I'm done. <laughs> no, man. Well, yeah. well, well done for that, man. This is this is a journey of perseverance. Um, I mean, you you could have just given up a while ago, especially when you stayed at home for six months without a job. And I can imagine uh, that must have been a stressful time. And and still you persevered. Um, yeah. and, and I think that, I mean, with the music is, is that, um, as you said, that, you know, life changes and now you got to change the songs, you know, because, because yeah. now you, you, you try, you trying to hit a different angle. So it's, it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. oh. is, so, yeah. so, the, uh, you know, this album is, is self-funded. Um, as you say, you had to wait for a job and. And yeah, man, just just tell how is it like just being a independent artist and and find, finding finding your own music. Uh, uh, what are some of the challenges? And yeah, um, I think finding the music, bro, was tough. Of course, you know, so mm -hmm. um, because nobody really believes in you until you have something out, you know. So oh, oh. I don't know how many times I called. Um, music music uh, like uh, event managers saying hey listen i know i've got a different sound i know I, I i i i can rock the crowd or i know that people are gonna appreciate my music please put me on you know so that like at least i can build some sort of a uh, fan fan support but like people did not give me the time of day bro you know so i don't i don't bring in numbers because i don't know anybody and it's like you have a good quality product or mm -hmm. you have yeah you have a good quality product or service but because you're not on the aisles yet nobody gives a damn you know so mm -hmm. uh but i took that and realized you know what actually uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna call artists i'm not gonna call uh, event producers anymore i'm not gonna call churches up anymore mm -hmm. i'm gonna finish the product and make sure it's good quality for myself and at the same time, I want to make sure um, uh, it's good quality for whoever listens. So not only Christians, but even people who are, uh, are just your who are Christians in the world. You know, just people from people from the world who want to listen to this can. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the album affects them in a positive way, you know, in a hopeful way. So, uh, so it was tough. So I mean, that was that was one tough. I mean, that was one part where it was tough, where people not really accepting uh, my music and uh, not no one not wanting me to perform. I'm like, but like. I know I'm good, bro. Like, I, I know, like, I could do very well, you know, but people don't really respond. And I'm like, okay, cool. So that's what it is. And then, um, I guess as well, it's also like just uh, me also not not being consistent, you know, with my releases, you know, and, uh, but I, I guess that also goes to like my recording time as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it was, it was tough, man. But like, uh, sure. those were some of the challenges and, um, and uh, 
uh, enjoy and uh, I I think I'm learning now you know it's okay to be alone so hmm. I I think I realized you know what I'd rather not be signed and just work on my own music so that like nobody dictates where I go because I feel like yeah. especially I don't want to say I'm part of this but especially in the gospel space it feels like there's like a few people dictating you know especially gospel hip hop way hmm. way what 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 who's the hardest thing and what and I don't want to be part of that so I sure. I move myself away from the circle and I decided, you know, I'm just going to do my own thing. And uh, that's what I'm doing yeah. right now. So that's why I'm not in any gospel hip-hop groups or I'm not in any gospel hip-hop chats because, like, I'm not part of that, bruh. You know, sure. so... Uh, sure. And I'm not going to be part of that at all. So, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure, and, and I mean, yeah. that's that's also just... Uh, um, you, you're mentioning an advantage there of just being an independent is that uh, your music is not dictated by, by the... Uh, by the investors, um, you can you can just simply put up what you want to put up out there, um, and, and lay your heart and and just try yeah. to speak to people and 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 hopefully influence people for positive change. That that's, that's beautiful, man. And and I, and I mean it's it's always better like, like that because we do know that one who funds sometimes controls the craft. Um, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now, now it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. So um, you have been doing music for for a while, um, well, for many, many years, <laughs> and um, you. So how do you manage to kind of keep it consistent, man? Just making sure that you still produce um, a good quality. quality music at the same time. I'm um, still having a content that is that speaks to people and change people's lives, not just content that is there for the hype or to sell. Now, how do you keep the two consistent? Yeah, I think uh, for me, bro, like you have to look, you have to look, look outside the door, bro. You know, you look outside the door and then you realize uh, people are living uh, hard lives, bro. You know, so yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I can't be on stage jumping up and down knowing that like there's people here who uh, uh, are not okay with the, they're not like in right standing with the Lord or like the situation's not okay at home, you know. So I think I had to, I had to go through stuff to realize, damn, actually these things happen to me, these things happen to Lutic, these things happen to Bido, this these things happen to everybody. So sure. um, the I I write music based on the fact that like people are um, are not happy, bro. You know, people are, yeah. are going through stuff. People are, are are going through struggles, and I write music based on the fact that like yo. Um, I want somebody to listen to the music and be like, yo, flip, man, at least I'm not the only one. And that's like, that's, hmm. that's what it is about sin. They're like, sure. one thing that uh, uh, resonates with us or one thing that like uh, helps us recover from sin is the fact that when you realize, damn, I'm not the only one going through this. You know what I mean? Right. So that's sure. the whole, that's, that's how I keep it consistent mm -hmm. by speaking to people and just um, uh, showing them that, hey, man, like, you know, you're not the only one who's struggling. You know, I've been there too. And in that way, we can we can be, begin a dialogue of like, okay, how did you overcome? And that's 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 about it. So, I mean, at the beginning, yeah, it was like, oh man, yeah, you know, it's jiggy, you know, it's nice, you know. But like, mm -hmm. the more you grow and the more you mature, you're like, okay, cool. It's not only about the jigginess, but mm -hmm. there's like a serious um, message attached. And that's the thing, bro. We need to take the gospel serious, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to take our creativity serious, mm -hmm. you know, and our consistency as well. We need to take it very seriously, you know. So, because like, when somebody listens to the music. Uh, you know, they have 30, you have 30 seconds, you know, mm. to convince them to keep on listening, you know, so mm. Mm. Uh, if it doesn't affect them, they're going to skip. So, yeah. um, and that's just me, bro. Like consistency uh, is important, but like um, uh, whatever the struggles we face, you know, uh, and uh, we need to, we need to have a hope solution, solution attached to it. So yeah. that's yeah. how I remain consistent. And even if, even if I work again next year, uh, I do another five, like a five track EP, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to be based on hope as well, like uh, struggles and hope as well, because like mm. right now, a lot of people are not going through a good time. And um, sure. it would be nice to like yeah. reflect and be like, hey, you're not the only one, you know, because when we're alone, we always feel like we, we are we're the only ones going through this. And everybody mm -hmm. is, is everybody's going through something. Bro. So it's good to talk about it so that we can help each other go through it, go through it together. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Um, sure, thanks. Uh, that's that's beautiful. I mean, you do know that uh, challenges and struggles they they all shape us. Um, yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's I mean, if it's even like that with with preaching. You know, um, the the more knocks that you take, the better preacher, the better musician you become. Because you start to realize that it's not about the hype. People wanna want want good things. You know, 
and, and it reminds me of something that that Bonafide said that when he was on his sick bed, um, mm -hmm. you know, you, you you couldn't try to sell him dreams. You know, he wanted solid truth, and and that's that's exactly what you're saying, mm -hmm. and that's. Oh, that's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. And man, I'm looking forward to the album. And um, you know, what can people expect from the album? Uh, and who are some of the people that you've worked with on the album? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So um, there's a guy I work with uh, uh, who, who. So in terms of the track track list and all that, so you know, I think I begin the album very nice in a nice in a nice way. There's a there's a poet called Linda who's uh, who did something for me there. And uh, she just opens up about like um, about how these uh, how all these things happen. You know, I briefed mm -hmm. and then she came back with something solid. But my first track is called Honesty. You know, um, at the beginning, Honesty was going to be the, the last track, but I realized, you know, because people don't know me, I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure Honesty is the first track, and uh, so that people get to know who I am. Like I'm so uh, transparent. You know, I talk about my sins. I talk about my struggles. Sure. And the guy that I featured there is called Nathan Blair, a very beautiful singer who uh, helps me out with the chorus there. So um, uh, that's what that's one of the songs I'm looking forward to. And of course, I've got Bonafide and Black with a track called Fire. You know, after that, and then um, I also have a guy called Landmark from uh, Last Days Fam. You know, yeah. that's my favorite guy. <laughs> I love Landmark a lot. So yeah, man. I hope Bonafide is listening to that. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I feel like Landmark just gave me that. Gave my album that thing, man, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, so... It's, it's dope. <laughs> it's dope, yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah and um, I think one other feature that I got is... There's a guy called Phrase. So, Phrase is a young boy from Pretoria. Mm. And he, uh, he... I think he was part of the group called Salt and Light. I don't know if you remember them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember Light. Salt and Light, yeah. man. Salt yeah, and Light. Yeah, so, Sorry, I'm representing, man. Dope, yeah, yeah, dope. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so... Um, so yeah, so they, so yeah, he came through, and then mm. um, um, he did the, he did he did a wonderful verse for me for one of my tracks called uh, "I Got a God." So mm. uh, yeah, so that's phrase. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Bonafide. Yeah, those guys are just about it. And some of the tracks, man, I won't lie. Beautiful. Because I'm a writer, I, I I just write the choruses for myself, and then I I I, I record the choruses as well. You know, so I don't mind doing that as well. So um, mm -hmm. uh, I think I think I'm a good writer. <laughs> you know, that's so I think I, I think I can. I think I can really, really uh, resonate well with the track once I listen to it over and over again. So, so yeah, man. That's about. But I won't lie. Before this album, most of the tracks, I had other guys, man. I won't lie. A lot, a lot of guys, and uh, mm. some of the tracks that I briefed people, unfortunately, are not going to be on the album, you know, because like sure. it doesn't resonate with what I, what I feel like right now. So maybe yeah, I'll put yeah, them on iTunes yeah. for people to find. But like on the album, um, the tracks I've selected. It is what it is, and um, it's gonna go crazy, man. So yeah, so Beautiful. there's a lot to look forward to. Bro. I've got, of course, maybe one or two jiggy tracks, you know, um, uh, with a bit of a, a social uh, topic attached, mm. and then I've got uh, tracks that are, are very personal, and uh, you know, even the title track, man, these things happen. It's just a track where. Uh, you know, I open up about like uh, the situations that we all go through. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if I sent it to you. I mm -hmm. I'll send it to you after. Did I send it to you? No. Oh, you did it. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, cool. So Still after waiting. this, you'll have. <laughs> so after this, you'll hear the title track, and then you'll hear, man. You know, you know me, bro. With my deep, with my deep stuff. No, so, no, uh, no, Mister, Mister Hook, <laughs> <laughs> the king of hooks. <laughs> we know you, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, we know yeah, you. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to the album. Uh, it's been long coming, bro. I, I must say, it's been long coming. And um, I mean, I, I, I have had fire because you released that song a couple of years ago. And uh, it's just it's just like a battle of, of MCs there. And, and I'm looking forward to um, Asenas. Um, I mean, I, I had the hook and, and the verse that you did a couple of years ago. So, yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to that song, man. It's it's been a long wait. Um, <laughs> just on your side, yeah. which song um, moves you the most? What's your favorite song on the album? I know it's a, it's a difficult question, but which song are you looking mm. forward to the most? Yo, so honestly, there's two favorite songs, bro. So mm. uh, the mm. first one is "These Things Happen." Uh, I like yeah. the title track because I it resonates with uh, what people are going through right now. Yeah. Uh, very much, you know, so I'll send it to you right now, actually, yeah. you know, so it's just for you to listen, you know, so I know I sent you a few tracks, so I hope I don't spoil the album for you, but I'll send it to you so that you can have a listen, and then you can never one of my favorite tracks, 
<laughs> one of my other favorite track is called uh, answers so uh, basically answers is based on um struggles as well my personal yeah. struggles and people's other struggles and basically i'm asking the lord you know like where where you know what should we do now you know mm. why did these happen why did why did these bad ugly unexplainable things happen to us you know so sure, sure. And that's, you know, so you can hear even in the track, like it's very uh, deep, it's very personal and it's very like, yo, mm. damn, this, this really happened? This really mm. happened? And you're like, yeah, yeah, it actually did. And, um, and that's the thing, sometimes when we live in our own bubbles, we don't really know what, what other people are going through, you know, so, sure. Sure. Uh, so yeah, so the whole, the whole, those two tracks are just basically, you know, me realizing that, yo, Joe, like, um, the gospel is necessary and we need each other, you know, to, 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 to help each other get through stuff. So, so yeah, man. So uh, those are my two favorite tracks, you know, mm -hmm. so the other, yeah, those are my two favorite tracks. So yeah. Yeah, it. no, man, that's, that's dope stuff, bro. That's dope stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey man, you, you're getting me excited here. I'm looking forward to the album already. And I've been looking forward to the album, you know that. Um, yeah. So when is it dropping? When is, when is the big day? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I haven't said a date yet. So, okay. but, um, I think it's possibly going to be uh, sometime in August. So okay. definitely in August. But like, I'm assuming the, towards the end of August. So mm. um, right now, you know, just uh, loading on stores, um, making sure that the Sumro uh, registrations are done. So the, yeah. it's just a bit of an admin. And then I'm trying to record something. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll, I'll be done by then. Uh, but, uh, if, but yeah, if possible, definitely by the end of August. You know? If it's not end of August, Definitely the first week of September, but I'm aiming for uh, end of August. So, uh, so be on the lookout. I'll, I'll keep on posting stuff saying, hey, no, no. buy me. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and let, let, let us know, man. Um, because uh, definitely we, we you know, when the album drops, we, we need to have another chat and just to uh, maybe dive deeper into, into some of the songs there um yeah, yeah you know yeah so I, I think that that would be that would be great um yeah. this is this is the kind of music that we need especially for the times that we're in um where people yeah. are really looking for real hope and they need solid yeah. stuff that can engage them and and i think your album is is timely the fact that yeah. you wrote the album you know when you're going through um you know some stuff in deep waters and and here we are as 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 a world as a country going through deep waters and uh, yeah, and we're looking yeah, forward yeah. to that um and yeah keep keep us updated um and, and my man so maybe people are watching this and they don't believe that you're a rapper um uh that you're a musician so you you got you gotta do something yeah. for us I, either you're gonna do a hook. No, 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 no. Either, either you're gonna do a hook or you're gonna do a verse first. Man, I'm giving you a choice. No. I know that you are the no. king of hooks. So. I, I, I have nothing to say. All I have to say is about the album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come, no, 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 Come on, come on. I, I, I really, I really have nothing to say. I didn't prepare anything. You know what the funny thing is? The, for the yeah. past three weeks, yeah. Uh, the past few weeks, I haven't even I haven't listened to my album, right? It's so weird because yeah, I, I listen to yeah. it every day to make sure the structure is fine. Yeah. But the past three weeks, I don't know. I've been staying away from it, bro. So mm -hmm. I think maybe because it's done. So I've been staying away from rap. I don't know why. I've just been like so out of it. So, yeah. so yeah. So I have nothing. I've got nothing for you. All I have to say is that like just uh, make more time for the word. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bro. Make more time for scripture. <laughs> Yeah. Make more time for the word. Lord, I want to be more time with for you. Scripture. Yeah. Spend more time with your needs. Lord, I want to be with you. So yeah, that's that's my only verse. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope, man. That's a that's a classic yeah. one. That's that's that song is Zill yeah. classic. <laughs> and it's not in the album, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Zill classic. You gotta, you gotta you gotta you gotta um you gotta make a plan to put it to put it up on YouTube and and social media platforms. Now I'm with I'll, I'll, after the, after I release, I'll, I'll put everything else on social media, you know, so people can just listen to um, some of my old stuff, some of my new stuff. So uh, definitely, I think after the album, it will give people like a bit of an idea of who I am. And when I put stuff up, at least they can also just uh, get variances and uh, different uh, stuff that I've done. So yeah, so yeah. definitely, bro. No, great stuff, man. So how can people get hold of you? Are you on social media? I assume um, you are. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. So on on uh, Instagram, I'm zeal underscore RSA. And then on uh, Facebook, I am uh, Uratile Zeal Matapeng. Yeah, and um, yeah, if anybody wants to reach out, if anybody really can't afford to buy the album or can't afford to download the album, uh, you can always WhatsApp me on 083-546-4539. So WhatsApp me on 083-546-4539. And, and then just say, like, uh, I, like, like I, I would like to listen to your album. I can't afford it. So can you send me something? So I, I'll definitely send you guys the songs, man. I don't mind, you know, so... Um, exactly. Yeah, that's that's just me. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. So we'll make sure that we put those um, social media handles and the number for the WhatsApp uh, in the comments mm -hmm. below so that people can check it out. Um, no, so, um, we, 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 we're going to come back and have a conversation about your details of, of, of the songs later on. But thank you so much, man, for yeah. making the time. Um, you know that uh, this costs money also. Um, it's, it's not cheap. So thank you so much for making the time. Uh, no sweat, man. No sweat. Any, anything for the fans, man. Anything for the fans. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Fans. Cheers, bro. All right.